Hey everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. I wanted to sit down and do a very impromptu video, and I haven't asked the owner of the knives if it was okay to do the video, so uh, if it goes up, then you'll know that I got permission to, uh, to share these with you. Um, but my buddy, Sam Johnston, um, did acquire a couple really nice pieces at the show, uh, the recent USNGH show. And one of the quandaries that occurs after a show um, such as this is how to get your knives home. If you fly out, um, you can potentially look at options such as putting it in a checked bag, and the inherent risks of that are one, it's stolen, two, it's stolen, uh, three, the bag is lost, in which case it was likely stolen. Um, so those are some of the risks associated with checking it into a bag. Um, sometimes if you get to the right shipping service before they close, you can just ship them to your home from that uh, location. Or an easier route is you just give it to a buddy and say, hey, um, I'm going to send these home with you since you drove. Uh, would you ship these to me, um, you know, the next business day, essentially. So that's what we're looking at here. Um, there was, there's a, one piece is going, well, actually, let's just jump into it. So I don't know which is what's in each bag, but um, I just want to show you guys some really cool knives. Uh, hopefully you enjoy taking a look at them. Uh, the first of which is actually one of Sam's builds. This is, I believe, the Navaja model. Um, very, very nice model. One of his, well, he's kind of gone back and forth, but yeah, CPMD2. Obviously a flipper. Blue titanium liners. Um, but a very, very beautiful model, great ergonomics, and this one is so dialed. So this is the Navaja model by Sam Johnston. Uh, this was his personal piece he just took. Um, in case people didn't want to see his work, then he had a piece to show them, uh, which they do when people find out you're a knife maker. It's like, oh, well, what did you build? Can I see it, please? So, um, you know, yeah, makes sense, hopefully. Yeah, really nice piece, really well dialed. Um, so obviously, even if you're the maker, this isn't something you want to uh, disappear in flight. So that's the first piece. <clears throat> um, second piece, what do we have, what do we have? Ooh, uh, Sam did pick up a McGinnis from another friend. Oh, so good, so, so good. Um, if you guys are aware of uh, McGinnis, and for some reason, his name is escaping me right now. I'm, it's late. Um, his work is definitely uh, very popular right now. And this is a, a truly exceptional piece. Um, you know a maker is good when you have other makers comment on the quality of their work. And, uh, yeah, just really nice. Uh, this one's actually on washers, so... But beautiful piece, great action, great ergos, nice finish. Um, yeah, you know, his work doesn't really speak to me, but the more I handle it, the more I'm drawn to it. The only thing that keeps me away is how uh, difficult they are to get and how expensive they are to get on the secondary, but um, absolutely exceptional work. Also blue liners on carbon fiber, so I'm not sure of the blade steel. One more time. That's good stuff. All right, very cool piece there. Oh, um, I think this is like a Persian model from him. I'm not familiar with all of his model names. So um, the McGinnis fans out there are screaming at their monitors telling me what it is. Um, but sadly, I just haven't kept up with all of his work. So very, very cool piece. Um, next one. Ah, so here is another piece that was made by Sam Johnston. It was actually one of his first pieces, might have been within the first 10 pieces he ever made. Um, another buddy of ours um, actually picked this up from a collector at the show and he gave it to Sam to go home for a little bit of spa, a little bit of TLC on this model, but um, very, very cool with the, uh, I believe zirconium, uh, inlay there, or overlay, whatever you want to call it. Very nice piece though. So, love the pivot on this one. Zirconium uh, pocket clip as well. So, as you guys can see, this one's definitely seen some pocket wear, seen some loving. That's great. 
uh, nice what I assume is there's zirconium backspacer as well so nice piece strong detent which I do prefer so yeah very cool piece from Sam and again one of his first 10 this is very very impressive quality here so yep all right last piece I know it's in this last zipper pouch here and this was one of the um, well one of the best knives at the show really um, if you guys are familiar with uh, birch knives then you might have seen this model being built um, as far as the work in progress on his Instagram goes or perhaps you saw pictures of it uh, from uh, someone's Instagram at the show but man I haven't handled too many birches uh, this one apparently is done in XHP um, again not familiar with the uh, model name and so forth but um, I've handled a couple birches, and this one is just perfection. Hand rub satin finish, beautiful blade grind, um, a nice orange peel on the handers, handles. Goodness, I can't speak. Pivot collar here that matches this uh, beautiful clip on uh, standoffs. And then the backspacer is uh, very, very attractive as well. So, but I did handle a couple of the birches on uh, on his table uh, prior to the lottery, and uh, this one was actually my favorite. This was the best of the bunch, and it is just so dialed, so smooth, so so smooth. Great ergonomics, um, great fit in the hand, just a. Really, really cool piece. Again, his work is extremely popular right now. Um, and those who collect his work do throw out some some pretty big numbers um, to be able to acquire his pieces. So I've seen a couple of his auctions, and, uh, you know, they get up there. So, but yeah, this piece is just exceptional. So, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed taking a look at... Um, Whoops. What I consider to be some uh, some very nice pieces. And again, if you're seeing this, uh, thanks so much to Sam oh, for allowing me to show you guys uh, these uh, different custom pieces here. Uh, so you can take a look. Again, very impromptu video. I didn't really give you guys any worthwhile information. This was uh, pretty much straight up eye candy, I suppose. So, yeah. All right, we will leave it there. Thanks for watching. Uh, definitely be sure to keep up on Sam's work, uh, Johnston Knives, on Instagram. I'll put uh, links down to the description box below. If you know who McGinnis is, you don't need links to his pages. And if you know who Birch is, you definitely don't need links to his pages. But um, Sam is uh, an excellent maker and a good guy. So keep an eye on his work. And I will see you guys soon. Take care.